knowing that the first one was so successful and having an opportunity to do it again, it struck me that both Dune Messiah and then the successive book, Children of Dune, came together as almost one complete story, which by itself completed a chapter in the Atreides saga. And I said, I think I can take both these books and instead of doing them separately, put them together and make another six-hour miniseries. And I am a fan of the books, so it's difficult for me to decide what to leave in and what, to, what we can't keep in. In writing the script, uh, I, I constantly referred to the book for as much information as Herbert would give me uh, to describe what a thopter looks like, what a worm looks like, what the desert looks like, what the environment, what the palace keep looks like. It did me no service, nor did it help the project to describe down to the last nut and bolt what a worm capture would look like. Uh, it was more fun, frankly, to sit with Ernie Farino and, and all of the geniuses that worked with him and, uh, and come up with these things. I hadn't really worked in visual effects prior to this. Um, you know, I had no, I had come from an action background, so I had no problem visualizing the bigger action scenes. I had eight weeks to create the whole environment that went with Children of Dune. Prep was an ongoing thing because we couldn't build every set all at once. You know, everything had to, you know, we had to go be on one set and go approve how the next set was being built and how we were going to light that so we could get a jump on things. So we were always leapfrogging constantly. It was always a juggling act of, how we want to approach the scene, what resources we have to approach it, how much time we actually have to do it. So we always had to be balancing those elements so that we could make the best sequence but still finish it and make sure it was the quality that we expected. We started, I think, with, with a budget of 400 visual effects. I think it was 628 was the total number of CG uh, visual effects. If you have a really short pre-production time, uh, you're always essentially chasing your tail trying to just get the scene shot. Then you figure out how this is going to integrate with CGI and other visual effects. You run into problems that, that uh, visual effects have to solve. You run into new ideas that, uh, well, wouldn't it be great if we did this? And yeah, it'd be great. <laughs> uh, where's your credit card?